I want to build Urza, but Urza is kind of expensive. This card's going for 10 bucks. That's more than I could pay for a deck. I need to be at $5. So here's the Urza I'm using. Urza Power Stone Prodigy. For two and a blue, you get a legendary creature, Human Artificer, with Vigilant. You can pay one, tap it, then loot. And whenever you discard one or more artifact cards, I get to create a tapped Power Stone token. It only triggers once per turn, though. So how are we going to break this? How are we going to make this? And how are we going to do it all for five bucks? First, we got to get stoned. Power Stoned. Geology Enthusiast is a bulk rare for three blue blue. It's a human artificer. In the beginning of your end step, you get to create a Power Stone token. Then you have an activated ability where you can draw cards and put counters on Geology Enthusiast. Slagstone Stone Refinery is going to give us a Power Stone every time it or another artifact enters the graveyard. And if we get Vandal Blasted, we get Power Stones. Splitting the Power Stone is going to let us sacrifice any artifact to create two Power Stones. And if it was legendary, which it probably won't be, we'll draw a card. Stern Lessons, an instant speed card draw spell, lets us draw two, then discard a card, and we get to create a Power Stone token, and with Urza, we'll probably get another Power Stone token. Even though Stone Retrieval Unit's absolute chaff, it gives us a Power Stone when it enters, and it's a super cheap card. Urza's Command is a modal spell for two blue blue, and we get to choose two, but we're always choosing create a Power Stone token and create a Karnstruct. Now that we've made all these Power Stone tokens, what are we to do with them? We're going to cast big artifact beaters and knock people out of games. I have never once seen Argentum Masticor played in an EDH game. It's a 5 mana 5-5 five five with first strike and protection from multicolored, and the beginning of our upkeep, we sacrifice it unless we discard a card, and those discards are going to give us some Power Stone advantage. Darksteel Juggernaut's a 5-5 five five with star star power. Its power and toughness are each equal to the number of artifacts we control, and it's indestructible, and it always has to attack. We are getting that damage in. You might be asking yourself, LVMTG, we can't always cast bombs, and I think we can. But in the case we can't, we can prototype. Prototype's the ability where you can play these big beatdown threats for cheaper. Death Charge Colossus takes advantage of that. It's a 9-9 for 9, or it's a 6-6 six, six for 6. Filigree Attendance, just a simple flyer for 4 mana. It's got 3 toughness, but its power is equal to the number of artifacts we control. We're going to have a lot of artifacts. Glint Raker looks like an unassuming 4 mana 1-3 flyer. I assure you it's not. It gets a power boost based on our biggest artifact, and it gives us pseudo card draw for artifacts. Hulking Metamorph is going to enter as a 7-7 copy of our best creature or best artifact, or a 3-3 if you like the prototyping. Master of Ethereum is just going to get huge because we're going to have so many artifacts in play. It also works as a lord for our other artifact creatures. Mirror Battlesphere is going to enter the battlefield with 4 mirror artifact creature tokens, and when it attacks, it can do some extra damage by tapping those mirrors. Pilgrim of the Fires is just a 7-mana 6-4 with First Strike and Trample. There's not much more I can say about it. Sandstone Oracle is just a 7 mana 4 4 flyer that can give us some card advantage if we're low on cards. Shambling Suit's the worst filigree attendant. It doesn't have flying, but it still gets huge, and I need some big threats. Sharding Sphinx is a decent flying body. That's not the real power, though. The real power is when our artifact creatures connect, we get more 1 1 Thopter artifact creature tokens. Spotter Thopter seems a little overcosted. It's an 8 mana 4 5 flyer. However, we have the Power Stone tokens. Also, we get the scry when it ETBs. Steel Hellkite's a real powerhouse is a decently costed 5-5 body that can destroy each non-land permanent of a specific cost our opponent's control just by paying mana. Suchi Cave Guard's an 8-8 with some abilities. The exciting thing though is when it dies in combat versus an Eldrazi, we're going to get 8 mana to play more big artifacts. Now for our last beater, Traxos Scourge of Krug. It's a 7-7 Trampler that's undercosted, and it doesn't untap. We can't untap it when we play a Historic spell though. Now that we've got all of our big beatdown threats out of the way, let's get into a few of the synergy pieces that help this deck run super smooth. Our first synergy piece is Drake Haven. Doesn't seem to fit, but we discard a lot of cards and we can make some drakes that can help us get back the monarchy, block, etc. We cast so many huge artifact beatdown threats that Ethereum Spinner is a natural fit in. It's going to give us a Thopter every time we cast those big artifact spells. Masterful Replication is a modal spell that can do two things for us. The first thing, it can make us some 3-3 golems, but more importantly, we can turn all of our artifacts into our best artifact on the board until end of turn. Mindless Automaton hasn't been good since Tempest, but it's good now. It gives us a consistent way to discard cards on everybody's turns, and then gives us ways to draw those cards back. Shimmer Mirror gives all of our artifacts flash, and it has flash itself. That means it's pretty good. Transplant Theorist gives us a constant loot every time we play an artifact, and it will let us get some of those cards back into our library. Our last synergy piece is Workshop Elders. It's a 7 mana 4-4 Artificer. It's going to give all of our artifact creatures flying, so we can get in for some damage, and it lets us turn our non-creature artifacts, aka Power Stones, into 4-4s. That's some beats right there. 
That about wraps it up. Urza Powerstone Prodigy may not be the Urza that we fear and hate, but it's another Urza. An Urza we can come to fear and hate. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.